we've spoken a lot about genocide, and I think we, it's, it's important to underline that, that genocide turns on, on intention, intention to kill or destroy. It's not about the numbers, it's not about the method used, it's not about the time that it takes to happen. And before this current brutal phase of this long, long uh, 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 conflict, before the current phase, we've seen uh, the brutality of the occupation. We've seen the settlement buildings by Israel in contravention of international law. We've seen land confiscations. We've seen land closures. We've seen house demolitions. We have seen a, 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 a military occupation that is brutalizing and dehumanizing to Palestinians. And this has been going on since, since 1948, since 1967. And, and I'm going to quote the Israeli Committee Against House Demolitions, an Israeli NGO, who talk about these, these house demolitions and these land clearances. And they, their analysis states, the motivation for demolishing these homes is purely political and racially informed. To either drive the Palestinians out of the country altogether, a quiet transfer, or to confine four million residents of the West Bank, East Jerusalem and Gaza to small, overcrowded, impoverished and disconnected enclaves. That right there is the imposition of a way of life that is designed to destroy, in part, the Palestinian people with a deliberate intention. And that right there, me alone, even before we look at what has been happening in recent months, meets the criteria for an investigation of genocide, for the crime of genocide. We've already been looking at a slow motion genocide. Now, of course, it's, it, it, it's significantly more brutal. It's on our TV screens, it's on, our, it's on, as was said at the ICJ, the victims themselves are now filming their own, uh, their own death and their own genocide. It, we can see firsthand the, the, the cruelty, the inhumanity, the brutality. But the bombs are going to stop eventually. And what's going to be left after that? What's going to be left after that is occupation and apartheid, because the occupation isn't going anywhere. There isn't any action that is happening to challenge that occupation. There isn't anything, uh, 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 other deputies in here have spoken about the impunity that Israel is facing. So we do need to do more. We do need to step up and we need to move beyond words and do more. Um, I know that the, the Ireland has been very involved in and supportive of the advisory opinion case at the uh, ICJ that started back in, in December 2022, I think. It is finally coming to, to fruition in terms of oral arguments this February. But will the AG talk about the, the, the settlements? Will the AG talk about the house demolitions, the land confiscations, all of which have been designed to, to, to force a quiet transfer on Palestinian people? And we know this because that's what the Israeli state themselves say. Benjamin Netanyahu has been very clear in that from the river to the sea will be Israeli and will be Israeli state and there will be no Palestinian state. What is that if not genocidal language? Will the AG raise the crime of apartheid that we are seeing every day? Will the AG raise that when he's on his feet in The Hague in, in, in February? Because we need to see that, and we need to hear those words spoken. And we do need to do more. And the recognition, recognition is in the, of Palestine is in the programme for government. It, it's couched in language of when the time is right, when it, it will um, uh, uh, facilitate peace. Um, and it's couched in conditionals. But again, I'd ask, if we're not going to recognise Palestine now, when are we going to do it? Because if we don't do it now, very soon there'll be no Palestine left to recognise. So really, uh, 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 we have been strong in some of our words. We have been strong in, in the engagement with the advisory opinion case. But we need to do significantly more if we are going to address, address the, the, the brutal reality that Palestinians are living under.